The debate on the proposed reduction age of sexual consent in Kenya might not fizzle away anytime soon with both proponents and opponents taking every available forum to express their reservations on the matter. The debate took center stage at the prize giving day in Pangani Girls with Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi terming the proposal as a big joke. We can never be mad enough to support that kind of nonsense of lowering the consent age. You know, it is, it's, you know it, there's some madness that some people get engaged in that is so difficult to understand. I mean, how on earth, and, and how can we be debating? The interior CS said if implemented, the proposal would win the future of many young girls. Supreme Judge Njoki Ndungu's fierce critic of the proposal said it will lead to an increase in sexual abuse. How do we give license to our children? We have not allowed them to vote. We have not allowed them to drive. We have not allowed them to take alcohol. Why would we, as the same government, say that our children should be allowed to have consensual sexual activity when they should be in school. The officials calling on parents to play their role especially on issues pertaining to marital sex and drugs in children. But also there is a concern. As Njoki and Susan and Zainabu are talking to the girls and we talk to them about their bodies and we talk to them about not having sex, who is talking to the boys? Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang said the rollout of the competency-based curriculum was unstoppable. On other issues and mainly on our CPC, we shall, I assure all of us that we are on course in rolling out the competence-based curriculum. We shall be working with our teachers in our secondary schools to prepare for the next level and that by the time we, are, we arrive at that particular level, that we shall all have been prepared and prepared adequately. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Serafina Roby.